Hi, brother teacher here. One of my lady friends asked me a question today. She asked me how could she lose her belly fat, her stomach. And I gave her some information that uh, she appreciated. However, she probably wasn't prepared to hear because it requires a lifestyle change. First of all, I told her that please understand this. You can't lose fat only in one place on your body exclusively. It doesn't work that way. When you eat your food, all of the nutrition from your food is dispersed throughout your entire body. When you gain weight, you gain weight throughout your entire body, not in just one place, to include your belly. You have more fat stores on some parts of your body than you do others. Sometimes it's noticeable in your face. Sometimes it's not noticeable in your face that you have some extra fat. But you notice more fat in your midsection, your waist, around your hips, your buttocks, your stomach, that belly. That is where you notice more fat. And even in the chest area over a period of time, especially if you become obese. So I told her that you have to lose weight all over, not simply in your belly. Now, for some reason, not her, but there are some people that believe that you can just single out your stomach and you can do some magical exercise and lose belly fat only. That's not the case. Understand this. Beneath that belly fat are your abdominal muscles. Your abdominal muscles are there when you do crunches, planks, sit-ups, uh, various other abdominal or core exercises. You are strengthening your abdominal muscles, but you can still have a layer and a substantial layer of fat outside. Subcutaneous fat. That fat is underneath the skin. That's the fat that people notice to include yourself when you look in the mirror or you look down at yourself. That's subcutaneous fat. That's the exposed fat, if you will. That fat that sits over your waistline and over your belt when you wear your clothes or your pants and so forth. That fat makes you predisposed to several conditions or diseases even. Some people like to call it diabetes, uh, heart issues somewhere down the road, and various other things. So now, how do you lose your belly fat? I saw an interesting uh, point of view from Dr. Berg on YouTube. I believe his name is John Berg, this particular doctor. And uh, he said something that I've known for quite a while, but the way in which he articulated this message about losing fat made a light go off in my head and I said I've known this all along but the way in which he said it was just so magical and basically what he said was that you must first heal you before you can really adequately lose weight and he's correct you see you should get healthy first so ask yourself the question, ladies and gentlemen, how did I gain weight and excess weight in the first place? I gained that weight, that excess weight by overindulgence in my food, eating too much, eating at the wrong times of the day and eating the wrong things and the wrong things even combined. You see, there is a science to eating. For every species, every animal, every creature on this planet has a specific diet. Human beings, unfortunately, because of our ability to create, to build, to imagine, we begin to put concoctions together and ingredients together and formulas together and we create all sorts of things that really appeal to the smell, uh, and the taste 
and we love the look of them and we just indulge because it feels good it tastes good but it's not necessarily good for us so we must learn to do the reverse of what we did to gain the weight in the first place to include ladies the belly fat especially you ladies since a young lady asked me about losing the belly fat now there are a few things that we must do if we want to ensure that we lose weight and to lose uh, consequently stomach weight or fat as well one of those things is make sure that we stop eating or consuming the things that caused us to have that weight in the first place if you need any further help on what to eat chime in in the comment section below and I'll give you something even though I have many videos I've already posted before that tell you what you can eat or some of the things that you can eat that are healthy so you need to stop eating the things again that are causing you to gain the excess weight those guilty pleasures it's okay sometimes but the point is most of us don't have self-control we don't know when to quit and before we realize it we have gained so much weight and we wonder where it all came from so stop eating the things that you shouldn't be eating and start eating the things that you should be eating whole foods organically grown vegetables and fruits and pure water pure juices juice your own juice if you will if at all possible stop eating at restaurants because they are laden the food that is at these fast food restaurants laden with all types of things that cause us to become fat and overweight bar none high fructose corn syrup sugar uh, excess salt all types of chemicals all types of flavors and concoctions and potions in the foods that we're buying the junk food and the processed foods and it's wreaking havoc on our health so stop eating the things that you shouldn't be eating and include or eat more of the things that you should be eating in terms of real food whole food w-h-o-l-e whole complete food nothing that's refined take those things out of your diet and I just told you two things and the third thing is exercise you've got to get up and start moving did you not know that the more firm muscle that you have on your body when you build firm muscle on your body and not, I'm not saying that you have to be a bodybuilder ladies and gentlemen but when you have firm muscle on your body the more firm muscle that you have your metabolism speeds up and you burn what more calories more fat did you not know that now let me tell you what you can do also first thing in the morning get hip to apple cider vinegar organic with the mother take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in 8 to 12 ounces of warm water first thing in the morning and it can help suppress your appetite so you feel full and that you don't want to consume so much at a meal that's one thing that you can do plus it will help you lose weight it will help alkalize your body and if you have indigestion it's good but that it has a plethora of things that it benefits your body in so you can do that uh, cut out these things that I'm about to mention to you okay you must understand this also when you consume excess sugar outside of natural carbs or carbohydrates you put an excess stress or extra stress on your pancreas to kick out more insulin and then you can ultimately become insulin resistant and what 
insulin does, ladies and gentlemen, is it breaks down sugar in your food, your carbs, in other words. And it helps to lower the amount of sugar that's in your bloodstream. And any extra sugar that's in your body is stored as glycogen in your liver for energy in the future. Once there is sufficient amounts of sugar or glycogen in your liver, if you still have an excess or an abundance of sugar, it's stored in your body's tissues as fat. And that is when you look at yourself, you see yourself beginning to swell in various parts of your body, especially the middle part of your body, your stomach, your gut, because of the excess sugar. Over a period of time, you been you become a candidate for diabetes because you have so much fat as a result of sugar your pancreas cannot put out enough insulin to control the amount of sugar that you continue to consume so that is why when you visit the doctor at some point in time you end up having to take insulin shots to help regulate your sugar because your insulin your body's natural insulin is out of whack because of your improper eating habits and your excess consumption of carbs especially refined sugars that's really it so you have to cut the sugar from your diet the Pepsi Colas Coca Colas all of your pops if you will your beverages cut the pancakes the biscuits the waffles the uh, cereals, sugary cereals, those types of things, the white bread, all of the processed flour and so forth, cut those carbs to include pasta. Cut it out your diet because you're going to end up with some health issues down the road and you're going to end up blowing up like a balloon and having even worse health issues. So again, to answer the question, how do you lose your belly? First of all, put it up here that my health is important to me and mean it. Don't just say it because any of us can say it. The only time that it really means anything is when you have taken action on your thought and your statement. My health is important to me and I'm going to do something about it right now. That's the first thing. And then you start heading towards that direction of liberation. Liberation from all of the bad things that you've been doing for all or most of your lives. Okay? Take the excess sugars out your diet, like I said. Take all of the processed foods, the frozen meals out of your diet. And replace them, again, with whole, real, organic foods and exercise two to three times a week half an hour to an hour make sure that some of that is strengthening exercise flexibility exercise and endurance exercise brisk walks jumping jacks jogging anything that gets your heart rate up so you can burn calories and to get that lymphatic system going do these things if you want to be healthy if you want to lose weight and if you want to live a much longer life this is brother teacher Yahweh loves you and I love you stay up stay informed I'm out